All right, so we're in. Up yes. To you. One of the six meters double volume sitting high. Now this is Tate Residences. We're heading up to one and only largest penthouse right here, sitting on top on level 34, 35, and 36. This is a triplex penthouse that gives you six bedrooms, fully ensuite, eight baths in total, two huge living areas, dining zone with a ceiling height of six meters. Plus your own private pool and a private lift that serves all three levels. Follow Property and Brothers on this prestige home tour. Let's go. Yeah. Wow, look at the view, bro. Wow, it's fantastic, man. Level 34, the only triplex penthouse here in Tate Residences, so let's hit it. Wow, look at this. It's lovely, man. Wow, the six meters double volume sitting high. Okay, so welcome to the triplex penthouse. The very first thing we need to look at is definitely the view first. Let's go. I'm gonna make my way, take my time. I'm gonna live my life to the speed of light. The view is 360 degrees because in front, 180 degrees. Yep. And then at the back is also another, another 180, 180 degrees. degrees. Totally no blockage. Okay, maybe let's start from here. Come. Right in front, there is the Royal Thai Embassy, American Club, Tangling Club as well. All these clubs and all these embassies, they are actually sitting on freehold land plot. This means that your view is protected for a very, very long time. You're going to have this two nice unblocked view on the left and right hand side. That construction right there, that is Pan Pacific Orchard. That's going to be like a 350 room garden hotel as well. This part is towards the Nasim area. Towards the back, that will be Bukit Tima zoning already. And so you also see a little bit of a Javois over here. In the meantime, let's head back in. Yeah, let's go. Tate Residences is made up of 85 units which makes it a very exclusive development. There are two towers located in the Tate Residences which is located in Tower 21 and Tower 23. For Tower 21, it has two stacks with stack 1 consists of 28 units of 3 plus 1 and 1 unit of duplex penthouse. Stack 2 consists of 27 units of 3 bedrooms, total of 56 units in Tower 21. Whereas Tower 23 consists of 28 units of 4 plus 1 and 1 unit of triplex penthouse from level 6 all the way to level 32. And on the top floor at level 33, which will be ours and the only one exclusive, triplex penthouse. The beauty of this triplex penthouse is constructed in mind with a north-south facing orientation and the external facade is cladded with all windows to allow natural light and breeze flowing into the unit. Six thousand five hundred and sixty-six square feet. Triplex status in Singapore. Triplex mega luxury penthouses are extremely rare. Most of them belong to the single floor plate or the duplex kind of uh, penthouses. This gives you six ensuite bedrooms. Out of the six bedrooms, two of them are Julia Master, your huge main master with zone ensuite. All bedrooms are luxuriously made to face unblocked facing. On top of that, you have two powder rooms. One on level one, one on level three. Level three with the prime private pool, you also have your own private lounge area before you head out to the pool deck. And on the second floor, Adrian, there yep. is like a separate kitchenette area. And on top of that, the private list serves you throughout level 1, 2 and 3. Right now, over here, you want to do our TV console, you have two areas. One is this huge span of wall here, the other one will be at the other side. So there's many ways to orientate your living room lounge zoning. The dining zone also share the same 6 meter ceiling. You have your own separate balcony right here. Let's head out to have a look. Wow, look at this, Adrian. 
Wow, it's a lovely view, man. Oh, is that uh, Ritz Carlton Residences with the maze? Yes, of course. Uh, we are here filming the other day uh, Ritz Carlton. We also have the Scotts Tower and also Hamilton Scott. Yeah. yeah. So, this part, you got to see the Cane Hill part of Orchard. That is actually Eden, the one with 20 units sold to the same buyer at one go. This part, you got to see the Stevens site, the Bukit Timah area. So, Tate Residence is actually located in a very prime location because not only are you within 500 meters from Orchard MRT Station, in fact, you can get a glimpse of uh, Orchard Residences right here, the tallest yeah, tower. The tallest tower over there. This is the unblocked view that we're talking about. And in fact, you have this nice pocket from the two towers at the Clay Mall. So you get to see Google Park Hotel from here as well. In fact, I think at this 34-story penthouse, you get to see almost everything around Orchard uh, Precine. Maybe let's chat a little bit about the 11 zonings with within Orchard. So Orchard is a combination of District 9 and District 10 because there is a demarcation on some of the zonings right there that just fell out of D9. So Orchard has evolved closing in from Cane Hill and Scotts areas. Cane Hill has always been one of the cream of the crop zoning right there because Cane Hill has a rich heritage and luxury status right from the start. Moving downwards, you have the Paragon and Emerald area. On the flip side, you have the Claymore area which we're standing in right now. Combination of Claymore, Draycott, Upmore, Nassim zoning known as the Embassy Row, also within close proximity towards the main Orchard Boulevard. Moving opposite, that will be the Orchard Boulevard area. You have Angula 21, Skyline at Boulevard and the recent Boulevard 88. Diagonally opposite, that will be the very famous Patterson Zoning. And then we have another six zoning, which is the Grange area, followed on by River Valley and Javoy Zoning, Great World Zoning, Oxley Zoning, Lawney and Somerset Zoning. And then last but not least, will be the Dobigod and Sophia Zoning. So these 11 zonings right here, they form the entire orchard address. So if you're looking for the luxury of the luxuries, this area right here is one of the key areas for you to look out for. Alright, so let's chat a little bit about the fittings and the materials right here when you purchase this. $39 million penthouse. Yes, indeed. When the moment you step in, it's fitted with this huge slabs white marble. It's really a luxurious feeling over here. Darker air condition, it gives you an even airflow into this whole entire space. Yeah, in fact, for all the bedrooms, you also enjoy ducted aircons as well. Usually, only luxury projects does the developer build in ducted aircons throughout. When you have that 6 meter ceiling height, you get the luxury of course installing your own motorized lines. That can be throughout your entire ceiling from the dining zone. This is is like an L-shaped feature and from the end of the dining area to the tail end of the other family area that is approximately about 23 meters in total length wow 23 meters we can literally swim there man <laughs> <laughs> in fact Adrian 23 meters is quite similar to a lot of the length of landed properties let's explore the kitchen this gourmet kitchen is really fantastic I love this quartz top this is a dry island I think this is a great place for you to prep your food have a nice interaction with your family members or guests visiting to prepare the foods just right below this island is the wine chiller. I think it's a very convenient for you to retrieve a bottle of wine over here. Over here, you have your convention oven as well as this uh, inbuilt microwave Miller brand. Huge commercial kind of uh, stainless steel fridge. And you have this chest of black tempered glass storage just right behind all these doors. This part also, you have an L corner. These are all Masked with a very beautiful double cladding quartz top, nice black tempered glass right as you're finishing at the exterior. For the brackets and the hinges, you have the Elno brand, soft closure as well. Top grade apartments, they come with this kind of metal finishing that is non corrosive type of material. It can last very long because you always will have a lot of cooling action. You also have the Miller cooker. So if you want like to do some light cooking, induction is over here. You have a three burner system for heavier cooking. The hood is right here with the stainless steel backsplash. Where this direction, you have a lot of storage. Magic corner, little dishwasher. This service zone right outside is actually where you place all your aircon condensers you need. This is the servicing area. Your yard zones, Miller, washer, cum dryer, home shelter for storage, a utility room which has its own ensuite bath. Something about this penthouse unit is that you have two service doors, one from the middle section and then one from the yard area, and that's of course where your delivery will come. 
prepping out of the kitchen just right outside your dining space you have a very conveniently located outer room over here size is just right full-on marble over here your private lift comes all the way from the basement parking or level 1 with your facility zone. It has its own tennis court, full-on lab pool, kids pool, function rooms, gym as well. And when you come back from the basement level, it brings you up all the way towards your level 34 entry point. And then from here, you have your own private lift which is separated from the main lift and this brings you up towards level 2 and 3. Most penthouses, they share the same common lift shaft that goes up to your level 1, 2 or maybe level 3 but yeah. this is separated and your lift is a private one within your own penthouse unit and you also have your own private lift at the front. Let's have a look at the reason why luxury penthouses and luxury units are becoming like a great store of value for luxury investors as well as foreign investors throughout the world. So why has this became not just a status symbol or a collector's item but also as a great store of value even though right now as we speak the ABSD rates for foreign investors and buyers is already at 30% Just have a look at the overall ABSD rates in terms of investment taxation amount In fact Hong Kong has always been at 30% and right now we've just joined the ranks of Hong Kong towards 30% as a foreign investor buying into residential properties A lot of foreign buyers have already gotten used to the concept of ABSD which is why even with the 30%, a lot of foreign buyers are still investing. One key reason is because Singapore has a very strong moat surrounding its residential properties and real estate status in terms of pricing stability, good gradual appreciation growth over the years. And Singapore has already been known as a safe haven, great hub with strong governance as well as stability from the pandemic. Our currency strength vis-a-vis -vis its Southeast Asian neighbours has been strong and performed very well over the last 10 years. It's still worth it to park their capital right here even with the ABSD component and buying a piece of luxury real estate in Singapore with land scarce supply this is definitely seen as buying something that is of a rarity effect and if you were to invest in a penthouse that is even more rare I think the store of value status will even be thicker as the years goes by This is the family zoning. It has that same 6 meter ceiling now. I think a luxury penthouse needs to have a lot of different kinds of spaces that you can recreate and design. I think you can build in a huge library, put in a nice ladder to climb all the way. Uh, 6 meters to retrieve your book. <laughs> <laughs> this can also be a secondary dining zone. If you can utilize the bay window, you can build in your cushion right here. In fact, uh, you might ask, hey Melvin Adrian, what is that balcony right there and there at the second level? This is actually your own balcony. That's a junior master. That is your main master. Over here, this zone is where the bedrooms are. So on this side here, you have uh, two common ensuite bathroom. And let's take a look at the first one over here. <laughs> Single bed over here, but I think for queen size bed is still not a problem. You have a chest of drawers installed over here, and also your walking closet right here. <laughs> Ensuite bathroom is all cladded with marble throughout the flooring. You also have sunken bath and of course overlooking towards the north view. Oh, that's a nice view man. I think I can see Macritchie over here. The second bedroom, let's have a look Adrian. Mirror image right from the first one is a flip side. Over here you have your study desk, queen bed. We also can explore some of the ways to utilize the bay window area. So in fact, there are three to four different methods on how you want to design the interior, especially with the bay window. The first one is of course to have your own dresser unit and your work zone right there with built-in table. Second version will be to mount your queen bed on top of it. Third version is to put in storage up to chest height area. So the fourth type will be to clad the entire U-shaped bay window with a cushion effect so you can sit there and read while looking towards the external view. 
ensuite is great. I think they have a good blend of colors, lighter tone for the flooring and also for the wall tiles, darker tone for the sink. So this is a uh, Villa Roy and Ball. I think it's a uh, blend pretty well. Similarly, you also have a sunken shower. Let's check out the Junior Master. But before that, you have uh, this nice punter area over here. If you love greens, I think this is where you can place your plants over here. I think it will be a lovely sight. Good. This is also the back door. So this is your private staircase to level 2 and 3. <laughs> Wow, look at the Juno Master, bro. Wow, this is really luxurious, man. This is queen bed, they still have a uh, two side table. We gotta check out the balcony view. Oh, this is beautiful, man. It is, it is definitely beautiful. I think the balcony design is really fantastic because you have this like jagged kind of feel. Alright, how about the bedroom floorings, uh, Adrian? Bedroom flooring are made up of a uh, long, solid timber strip flooring. I think this is really cozy, especially uh, during the night as well. Right, and then uh, as you walk in, you have four panels of walk-in wardrobe space. The ensuite for the Junior Master is huge. I think they have a two-tone marble over here. One the lighter, one the darker with grains. As we flip over, you also have your own sunken bath area that overlooks towards this view. Of course, the blinds are already installed for you. You get to enjoy this view from your long bath. You also have a nice marble top solid vanity over here. Let's chat about what are some of the luxury penthouses that has been transacted over the past couple of years. Now, the very latest one will be the $48 million penthouse that has been done at Canning Hill Piers. And during its first day of launch, it received close to 70 odd percent sell out. And that particular penthouse has been transacted at about $5,800 per square feet. Second one will be the $138 million penthouse at Marina Bay, which can go up to form about 24 different bedrooms. That is one of the largest penthouses in Singapore to date. Tora Upmore plus Le Louvel Upmore, the $62 million penthouse being transacted at Warwick Residences. When we look at what is happening in the core zoning right here in Singapore, in terms of luxury penthouse collection, they are all ranging in the realm of 40 odd, 50, 60 million. So when you look at the overall transacted price of these luxury penthouses, we're going to see a glimpse on how the luxury owners are actually thinking about owning not just a collector's item, this form of parking their wealth right here in the city centre of Singapore. Adrian, let's go up to level 2. Let's go. This is where you see your glass out private lift. We also have a back access door as well. So this is the service area that we're talking about. You also have your own tab right here. Home mini fridge, bottom freezer. This can be like a mini kitchen pantry zone. This area of course, what you can do is that you can seal it up with like tic tac kind of door. You can use this as a mini storage zoning as well. So you have the fourth bedroom here. By your fifth bedroom. And this is the master room. I remember when we said everything will happen. Oh, look this at is this. The best room in this whole apartment. Similar concept from the one that we seen on the level one. So you also have a nice uh, jagged kind of balcony space. Also overlooks the same view as the one below. This portion of the home is not part of the 23 meters length that we're talking about because the 23 meters only stretches until the family zone. If I were to add all the bedrooms, I think the entire length will be close to maybe double of it. So maybe it's close to about 40 meters in terms of length. Master room is a bit different from the junior master downstairs because you get this entire white angle kind of layout, full rectangular, the king bed fronts towards the entire orchard view. You have then this special walkway being reserved to be your private walk-in wardrobe. Sliding panel door here, close up for privacy. And then that will then bring you to your own suite. Wow, this is really luxurious. Kiss and her sing, your own private cup as well to enjoy a nice view. Hey bro. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> It depends on your intimacy level with your spouse, whether yeah. you want to bathe and use the WC separately <laughs> at the same time. The view is really fantastic. Yeah, we're already 
Already at level 35, in fact, T residence is one of the higher buildings surrounding here. So as we flip over, the marble is hot great. Now it's already 10 to 11 years. Still extremely well preserved. Alright Adrian, I think it's time. Yeah. We need to explore the primal so. pool. Yes. I think we have to try the lift. Safety feature. Right. The lift is not here. The Cough door the won't open. Max load, 400 kilograms. I don't think we are 400. How heavy are you, bro? Uh, 67. Huh? You're only 67? Yeah. Whoa. 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 Present. Oh. Alright, man, we're here. And this is the lounge area. So actually, this can be the seventh bedroom, Adrian. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh, and I would love to take this bedroom because this bedroom has your own private pool, private deck as well. Yeah. Wow, this has the best view. Yeah. It can also be a home office, it can be a study room. You also have your own powder room here. So as mentioned, if you're entertaining here, you don't have to head down to level two. This is very convenient and I think this penthouse is really well planned. Look at the full glass panel here. Oh my goodness, it just looks so luxury. And that's the entire Bukit Timah stretch. In fact, we are right in the middle of the Prime Hexagon because the Prime Hexagon that we've been talking about, our analysis team has identified this six core zone, starting from Marina Bay Sands, Orchard, and then Bukit Timah, Holland. We head towards one north, Greater Southern Waterfront. And this entire zoning is earmarked for transformation in the next five to ten years, with the Thompson East Coast Line coming up, being an interchange at Orchard Boulevard and Orchard Main MRT Station. This entire zone is going to be transformed rapidly. Oh, the pool. Imagine soaking yourself inside. The pool looks okay. delicious eh. Composite decking. And then uh, you can swim all the way to the end. There's a little bit like an infinity pool as well. There's also something, Adrian, about internal staircase for penthouses. Because some penthouses has a mix of external staircase. And of course, if you have young children at home, you want to be a little bit safer. Internal yep. staircase are the best. Correct. Right, and uh, let's head down. So this part of the home tour, we're going to look at if you are looking for huge quantum penthouses to park your wealth right here and you're looking for anything that is in the range of 20 to 60 million, what are the current asking prices of some of the apartments within the D9 and D10 zoning? So we have a 20 million dollar apartment in St. Regis, Nassim Jade, 22 million, Nassim Park Residences, 35 million, the Nassim 45 and 25 respectively, Boulevard View, 23 million, Skyline Orchard Boulevard, 54 million, Patterson Suites, 22 million for 6,663 square feet, four beta. Mark on Patterson, 6,100 square feet, 36 million. Cliveden at Grange, 26 mil. Beverly Hill, 23 million. You have one huge one at the Claymore, which is 28 million right now. Skaptura Upmore, 26 mil. Novell, 18, 35 and Lee Novo up more at 28 million. So when we look back at this penthouse that I'm standing right now, asking at 39.5 million, over 6,566 square feet. In terms of per square foot asking price, it's at about $6,000 per square feet. When we look at the overall quantum vis-a-vis -vis some of the asking prices of the other 10 to 20 odd different large size apartments right here, I think that will give you a glimpse about the value. Whether is this triplex penthouse suitable for your family's taste and collection. In terms of future developments that are happening in the area, you have your Orchard Road that is in the transformation right now. Not only it will be known as Shopper's Paradise of Singapore, Orchard Road will be enhanced into urban green corridor with lush planting and new green spaces. There will also be a proposed 6km green corridor to connect to botanical gardens and to the Singapore rivers. We are just 8 minutes walk to Orchard MRT, which will be our future Thomson East Coast Line. One stop to Newton at Downtown Line, two stops to Dobigot at North East Line and Circle Line, and just three stops away to CBD at City Hall and Raffles Place. And this will also connect you to the rest of East West Line. Other areas in town, such as Shenton Way and Maxwell, previously not supported by any train station as well as the eastern area of Singapore. We will have the Orchard Shopping Belt in just 3 minutes walk and over here you'll be able to find supermarkets, malls, restaurants and other luxuries good stores. Thank you for staying true with us on this luxury penthouse tour right here at Tate Residences. 
And if you want to have a look at this place, give a call to our listings team. Our luxury team will be on standby for you if you want to visit the place or if let's say you are overseas right now, you can give our team a call. I think you will love to live in this mega penthouse over here. This is freehold status. You're buying something in the most prime zoning in Singapore, D9 Orchard. And this can be passed on to your next generations to come. Thank you for staying tuned with us on our luxury penthouse tour right here on PLB Prestige. My name is Melvin Lim. Adrian Lim. Property, Property Lim Brothers, Brothers as always. always happy, happy to, to show the place. place. Just rinse within. <laughs> Ready? Max load 400 kilograms. Uh, I don't think we are 400. How heavy are you? Are you? 67. Huh? You're only 67? Yeah. Your weight? Yeah. What?